The Trinity Exposed, Part 1. I'm going to be starting a series of videos here, uh, quick one-point videos, rather than a huge big study, because I realize that Trinity people can't handle much scripture. But I'm going to be starting these videos to show one point, followed by a bunch of scriptures, exposing this pagan Trinity idol. Uh, the word Trinity does not appear in the Bible. Right? Not in the King James Bible, and I'm not sure of any other ones that come from the Vatican. You never know with them things. But it is not a Bible word. And right away people say, well, there's lots of things that we use that aren't specifically in the Bible. Um, but I don't think that they're titles for God. You see, the biblical term Godhead is very, very important to the Lord. Right? And to use a term Trinity to replace Godhead, that's a big problem. But where did the word Trinity come from? I'm going to read to you here from the Catholic Encyclopedia. All right, I'm going to put the thing up on screen here for you. It says, we're going to start here. It says, the writers of the school contend that the doctrine of the Trinity as professed by the church is not contained in the New Testament, but that it was first formulated in the second century and received final approbation in the fourth as the result of the Arian and Macedonian controversies. So even back then, they're fighting over this thing of whether it's called Trinity or whatever else, and how the Godhead works. They were fighting it over back then, all right, in the 4th century. So don't tell me that people that reject the Trinity, that's just some kind of modern thing or whatever else, and that Christians have always believed in the Trinity. That's not true. For nearly 100 years after the completion of the Bible, uh, people didn't say Trinity. It was created in right around 170 AD, I think. I think it was... Uh, Theophilus or something of, of Antioch, or I, th I think that, that was the name. And then Tertullian was the first one that actually wrote it, in Latin, I believe it was. And then the Council of Nicaea and the Council of um, Constantinople, I believe it was, that they actually made it official Catholic Church doctrine. All right? You can look it up. Look up the proof of that thing. All right? So to say, well, we can use it in whatever... It comes from the Roman Catholic Church. But here's the real important point to this thing. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5 and 6 says, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Um, was the word Trinity added to the scriptures in terms of it's there and people just they'll, they'll replace the word Godhead with Trinity? Yeah, it's an added word, not in the actual Bible. Revelation chapter 22, verse 18 and 19 says, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of, this, of the book of this prophecy, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. This book is finished. God says, Boom, it's done. And the King James Bible is the English equivalent to what they would have had way back when. All right, This is the best Bible that has ever showed up on the earth. Better than any original autograph you could ever get your hands on. But this book is done. The Bible is completed back there. And the Lord says, okay, don't add to it. Don't add anything to it. And nearly 100 years later, some guy comes out and he says, I think we should say, instead of Trinity, or instead of Godhead, we'll say Trinity. That's adding to Scripture. Condemned. You're a liar if you add to Scripture. The Trinity word is a lie. 